Okay, this will be an interesting one. Bit of a strange one. Got it from an op shop where I get most of my stuff from. Let's see how we go with it. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here, it says, it's, that's what we're interested in, it's an airmail pad, super fine airmail paper. An airmail pad uh, complete with, with envelopes inside. I'm not going to undo it. We're interested in this picture primarily there. And so an airmail pad with envelopes something looks really old-fashioned retro design Let's see what we can do it looks old-fashioned it looks really old but I don't know <laughs> the envelopes look new strangely enough but most people send emails these days Anyway, that's come up a treat. That looks brilliant. We're going to work with that. Um, that's turned up looking really nice. I don't think we even need to do any enlargement for this. So this is our... I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I don't write snail mail. I don't do much mail, to be honest, folks. Um, but let's see how this looks. So that's come up a treat first go. I'm happy. Anyway, that looks a bit dark. Um, but it looks nice. I used to have pen pals when I was young. Um, we used to do it by snail mail, just like the old, in the old days before email became a big thing. Um, but it was in the 90s. 90s was still fairly dominated by by snail mail, as we now call it. Good thing about snail mail is that you can keep your uh, things. Oh, yeah, you can print out an email, and there's nothing like the the handwriting. A lot of people, I'm sure would miss those days, especially people who are elderly. My handwriting's shit anyway. I have got really bad handwriting. It's a wonder my writing was legible enough. Let's see how that looks as mirrors. Just going to line these up. Anyway, that looks quite a geometric sort of pattern. I think now we can call this demo quits. <laughs> 